I work in the Essex Fire and Rescue Service control room. The reason we've had to go on strike recently is because the management board have changed our hours, meaning family work-life balance has just really messed up staff's lives, basically. I myself, I don't want to be job share, but I've had to go to job share position, meaning I've had to take a, a big pay cut. I was involved um, in a campaign at the Ritzy Picture House Cinema with Beck2 to get a living wage for the staff. We were on strike for three months. After three months, we managed to negotiate a 26% pay rise, um, which is a really good success. We didn't want to go on strike, um, and you do miss out on a day's pay, but essentially when you're on a wage that doesn't cover the cost of living anyway, um, it's a necessary sacrifice sometimes. I'm a nurse and I went on strike. My whole branch decided we'll go on strike because of the pay freeze for four years. We won because we managed to get the 1% deal that we asked for. A lot of my members actually do two or three jobs to keep their head above water. So it is the last resort really. The bakery where I work, we found out that for the previous two years, anybody who'd started were on zero hours contracts, working permanently. Tried to negotiate, tried to sort it out, tried to get the people taken on full time. The firm weren't interested. Only by striking did we get these 30 odd people permanent jobs. In October 2014, the first time in the 133 year history, the midwives decided they needed to strike. Overwhelmingly, we definitely had the public support. I think that made it easier for the midwives knowing that people were behind us. I work as a support worker for a charitable housing association. We're currently in dispute over uh, terms, conditions and pay, where pay has been um, decreased where, and responsibility has been increased. Really, industrial action is the only way forward um, that we can get a better deal for all of us. The fire service wouldn't be where it is today without us having had the right to strike. We've kept stations from closing, we've kept jobs from being lost. I never once thought I would have to take that right to strike, but even if you only use that right once every 133 years, then it's something I think we should all be able to do. You have a right to protect yourself and to ask for what you need to survive. They're going to try and make things harder to go on strike. That's a misnomer. It's very hard to go on strike anyway. Without strike, we will not have any power. Protecting the right to strike is fundamental in that it it gives us negotiation power with management um, in order to get a fairer deal. It is so important that people have the right to strike. Everyone should have the right to stand up and have their voice heard. 